successfully welded two cars to the seabed, and, and that was good. Yeah, and we pick up the action the next day as we go back to finish the job. On our way to get the last car, we stopped at the reef site to make sure everything was OK. Tom Daly. I don't like it. And after a few moments in the water, we discovered it wasn't. Where the bloody hell are they? There's the boy. That's the boy. Well, that mark. Yes, that marks the spot. They're just not here. Why did we trust you to fix them in place? I did. Listen. Of all people. Well, I don't understand it because I don't normally make a mess of that. Oh, you must have made a good job of it. That's why they've gone. There is evidence, or a lack of it, to suggest you can't oh, well. Oh, shit. Maybe you're sharp. Uh, what? What? Look. Oh, brilliant. How the hell did they do that, though? You know this current that's whizzing us about? Look at them. They're not going to make a reef, are they? Well, maybe it could be like a play area for the privileged. Some rusty cars. That doesn't work, does it? No, no. <laughs> Obviously, we had to retrieve them, which meant moving the raft to the stern of our crane boat. James, have you untied that end? Yeah. Get ready to catch this rope. Here we go. Pull it along yeah. a bit and get it sort of squared up. I'll have a nice ride. Right. Repositioning raft. That's a reassuring noise. Uh, where, where's that come from? James, James, what's what? that doing over there? What's what doing? No, that all this bamboo's come off. What have you untied? I've untied the piece of string at the front. That no, but look, there's half the craft is disappearing. As the raft was disintegrating fast, we had to get it to shore quickly. Firing up the machine! Sadly, though, Jeremy's turn of speed only made things worse. Power! Power, come on! Slow down! It's falling apart! Look, he's Slow going down. down! Slow! Ah! Ah! You can't put cars on that, can you? After we'd rescued James, he stupidly suggested that to solve the problem, we should ruin everyone's holiday. I think these people should move out of the way. My plan was to tow the cars off the beach and back to the harbour so we could start again which meant I'd need the help of the man from Atlantis. Hold my hand. There, 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 there. Now let me go. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's me. You have to let... Oh, my arm. Let me go now. I'm fine. I don't like it. Oh. Hammond, tie both of them to this and give me a thumbs up. If James gets those onto the road, all the way back up to the harbour, build another raft, get them loaded on, bring them back, it's going to take days. OK. Don't stand near the back, the brakes don't work. I then said we should use my brilliant boat to tow the cars back to the reef site, which would be quicker and easier. They're in the water! <laughs> Power! Power, come on! Yes! Eat my boat, James May! Oh! <laughs> Victory is the boats! 
What was that? With two rusty Peugeots in his swimming area and his beach furniture in ruins, the hotel manager had had enough and ordered us to leave. We'd now lost four cars, a boat and our raft. But on the plus side, we still had one car left and most importantly, the crane boat. But that night, there was bad news. The man who owns it's not best pleased with us. Because? He has off-hired it. We've not got the crane boat in. No. That was the most useful thing we had, actually. Yeah. So what can we possibly do with a land road? Well... Well, what? If I can be positive, the Land Rover's largely aluminium, which is actually even better for creating a wreath. It's that it's is only true. Land. Yes, it yeah, is well, true. Yeah, well, that's a problem, but aluminium the land is Rover good. It's irrelevant. We've lost everything else. Yes, but it's good. If... I've had a brainwave. Oh, God. And so, the next morning, the people of Barbados were treated to the magnificent spectacle of a Land Rover gliding majestically on a bed of inner tubes across the Caribbean Sea. Right, here we are in our final car, and it's a classic. It's a Series 1 Land Rover. I mean, it's a Series 2. No, it's a Series 1, isn't it? The lines are closed together. No, it's got the barrel rolls on the doors. It's a Series 2. Yeah, but does that make it a Series 2? Yeah. I thought Series 2s had the lights out for it. I think we're getting stuck on this. It's a Land Rover. It's, a, it's an old Land Rover. Yeah, the good thing about it is it corrodes much less quickly than the steel car. We've also glued these limestone tiles to it because porous limestone is the perfect base foundation for coral to start a reef. This is a coral reef making machine. In fact, the only fly in the ointment was its propulsion system. Can I go a bit faster? No. Oh. It's filling with water the faster you go. We'll sink in the wrong place. This is our last car, our last chance. Bleating on. Oh, don't go too fast. You're going faster again, Jeremy. You're pulling it under. Relax. Am I the same species as that? No. Jeremy, don't sink it before we get there. Mother of God, have you seen that? What? Guys, look. Oh my god! Holy cow, look at it! That is phenomenal! Yeah! Racing! Jeremy, you're going to sink us! Don't race it! Catch the boat! Oh, I haven't got time for these two. Right, let's go catch that sailing boat! Oh, brilliant! When do we drink our own urine? Look at that thing now! Bloody Nora. <laughs> that is just fabulous. I could have buzzed around this amazing machine all day, but there was still important environmental work to do. So, reluctantly, I broke off to rejoin my stranded colleagues. You all right? No. Well, no, we've just been left adrift in a Land Rover. Fortunately for you, none of these ceramic tiles is loose, otherwise I'd chuck it at your head. I think it actually handles better than it does on land. Soon we will reach the reef site, puncture the inner tubes, the Land Rover will sink and it will become a safe haven for cod and haddock and breed. 
Eventually, we reached the site and set about scuttling our reef machine. In truth, all great environmental projects are beset with problems, and ours, through no fault of our own except James's, was no exception. Stop! Ah! Ah! So in the end, our new reef wasn't quite as spectacular as we'd hoped, but it was a start. And one day, it'll be the core of something a thousand miles long, a new and beautiful home for the cod and the haddock of the Caribbean. Barbados for helping us out with that film. Oh, and we'd just like to say, uh, no coral was damaged while we were building our reef. No, or if we're perfectly honest, created. <laughs> no. However, we did come back with a brilliant idea. You see, we liked it in the Caribbean. Our crews liked it in the Caribbean. So we thought it would be a good idea next week to make a film comparing the motoring cultures of the French, the Dutch and the British islands. Yeah, it was a great idea. Brilliant idea, but Mr Wilman, our producer, he decided it wasn't a brilliant idea and that instead we should go to northern France with three old cars and drive around in the rain. <laughs> so that's what we're actually doing. And on that terrible disappointment, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. Thank Thank you for coming. See you soon. Take care.